Okay, finding wavelengths. Huh? Finding wavelengths from diagram. In exam, sometimes they will give you the wavelengths in the question straight away, but sometimes they do not give you the wavelengths, but they want you to find the wavelength from the diagram given. So it's very important for you to know how to find the wavelength from diagram. Okay, uh, let's see the first case. Huh? Uh, wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or trough. This is for a uh, transverse wave, okay? So transverse wave, we have crest and we have trough, and the uh, wavelength is the distance between crest or the distance between trough, okay? So this one should be no problems. But for longitudinal wave, we don't have crest and trough. So, so how to find a wavelength? Now, wavelength is the distance between two successive compressions so we have one compressions here and we have the next compressions here so the distance between two successive compressions is the wavelength so wavelength is the distance between two successive compressions or rarefactions okay uh, or rarefactions huh? so this is the rarefactions this is another rarefactions so distance from two successive rarefactions is also the wavelength but usually we are we will use the compressions huh? to find our wavelengths. We seldom use the uh, rarefactions to find the wavelength because sometimes it's quite hard to identify where is the rarefactions. Okay, so usually we will use the compressions uh, to identify our wavelengths. Okay, so this is another compressions. Uh, this is another compressions. And uh, this is another, another, this is another rarefactions. So this is how to find wavelengths from longitudinal wave, uh, longitudinal wave. This one is uh, how to find uh, wavelength from wavefront diagram. So this is called wavefront diagram. Okay. So this line it represents wavefronts, and uh, if you see wavefronts, you should know that the wavefront actually is representing wave. Eh? And usually the 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 wavefronts is either representing the crest eh? or the trough. Okay. So if you see the straight line like this, then you should know that, okay, the, the line representing the crest. Eh? Okay, so we have a wave like this uh, for circular wave fronts. Okay, yeah, it's also uh, almost the same actually. And the wavelength, the wavelength is the distance between two successive crests. Uh, so or two successive wave fronts. This is one wave front, this is another wave front. And uh, the wavelength is from this wave front to this wave front. Eh? Okay. So this is a wavelength, and uh, for the circular wave, this is a wave. So uh, that is how to find the wavefronts from, uh, sorry, wavelength. Wavelengths from a wavefront diagram. So this is wavefront. Distance between two successive wavefronts is the wavelength. So this is a wavelength, and this is a wavelength. Okay, first example. Figure above shows the propagations of a water wave. What is the amplitudes of the wave? Uh, amplitude is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium positions, right? Okay, from this diagram, what's the amplitude? Five. Okay. Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, five. Huh? Okay, because the uh, the equilibrium position is from the center. Okay, and the amplitude is from the uh, equilibrium positions to the maximum point. Yeah? So therefore, uh, the amplitude. A is equal to 10 cm divided by 2, which is equal to 5 cm. The figure above shows the simulations of a longitudinal wave by using a slinky spring. What is the wavelength of the wave? This is longitudinal wave, huh? longitudinal wave, and this is the compressions, rarefactions, compressions, rarefactions. And from this compression to this compression is 15 cm. So what is the wavelength? Lambda is wavelength. Uh, so this is a compression. Eh? It's a compression, a compression, a compression. And then uh, from a compression to another compression is one wavelength. Eh? Lambda, one lambda. Wavelength. Lambda is wavelength. Okay. From here, we can see that 3 lambda is equal to 15 cm, right? 15 cm is equivalent to 3 lambda. And therefore, 1 lambda, lambda is wavelength, 
15 divided by 3, which is equal to 5 cm. From here to here, okay? One wavelength, two wavelength, three wavelength, and it's equivalent to 15 cm. So wavelength is equivalent to 5 cm. Okay, this one. Uh, this is a transverse wave. Okay, what's the wavelength of this transverse wave? Okay, now um, from here to here is one wavelength, one lambda. And from here to here, there's another lambda, right? So we have one lambda, two lambda. So two lambda or two wavelength equal to 25 cm. So lambda equal to 25 divided by 2 equal to 